Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. And today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 16 gigabyte Vanguard SOC launch edition. The MSI GeForce RTX 5080 is one of the fastest graphics card available on the market and uses Nvidia's latest Blackwell GPU featuring 10,752 CUDA cores as well as 336 5th gen tensor cores, 84 4th gen RT cores and 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 running at 30 gigabits per second on a 256 bit memory bus. It features an overclocked GPU running at a boost speed of 2730 megahertz. The default speed is 2620 megahertz. And if you use MSI Center, you can get extreme performance of up to 2745 megahertz. And what's more, this card now fully utilizes the PCI 5x16 slot found on most motherboards. Plus you get DLSS4, giving you up to 4 times performance boost in gaming. The MSI Vanguard series of graphics cards offers great aesthetics, with carbon fiber accents, aerodynamic edges, fractured lines, and futuristic RGB lighting. For cooling, it comes with MSI's Hyperfroza thermal design, combining three cooling fans with claw texture fan blades, a core heat pipe, and a vapor chamber, giving you excellent cooling efficiency and optimal heat dissipation. Video outputs include three DisplayPort 2.1b and one HDMI 2.1b, supporting 4K resolutions with a refresh rate of up to 480Hz or 8K 120Hz. MSI have also included with the Vanguard SoC Launch Edition one of these lucky figurines. There are nine to collect with one secret edition. We'll be testing this card to see how it competes with other GeForce cards that we've tested in the past, including the GeForce RTX 4080 Super. So let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 16 gigabyte Vanguard SoC launch edition. Okay, let's peel this here. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at this box. Vanguard launch edition, very nice. Okay. We have a MSI postcard, very nice. And we have the power connectors, the uh, for the adapters. We have three of the eight pin PCI power going into one 16 pin uh, PCI connector there for your power. And this is a graphics card holder. Interesting. And I believe it extends out. Yep. Oh, all right. Nice. All right, so this is the MSI Lucky figure with the limited edition. You have uh, nine to collect in total and one special one. Um, let's open this up and take a look. Interesting, very nice. All right, now let's take a look at the graphics card. Okay, here we have the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 Vanguard 16 gigabyte SOC launch edition. This graphics card uses NVIDIA's latest Blackwell GPU and features 10,752 CUDA cores. It has 5th gen tensor cores and 4th gen RT cores. It comes with 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 RAM running at 30 gigabits per second on a 256 bit memory bus. It features the MSI Hyperfroza thermal design with the uh, claw textured fans and uh, large heatsink with the uh, vapor chamber and heat pipes for extra cooling. Okay, we'll start at the top here. I've got the GeForce RTX logo there and your 16 pin PCIe power connector there. This is your MSI logo, which uh, lights up with the RGB. 
And on the back here we have a nice metal back plate with the uh, nice carbon fiber accents there. Notice and here on the top edge here we have the silent and gaming switch here. That will give you a little bit of a performance boost. Okay. And then we'll take a look at the uh, video outputs. We have three DisplayPort 2.1B and one HDMI 2.1B. This allows you to display 4K up to 480 Hertz refresh rate or 8K 120 Hertz refresh rate. This card takes up a three PCI slot space. So make sure you have enough space inside your case. We'll be testing this graphics card using an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K sitting on a Z890 motherboard along with 48 gigabytes of DDR5 8000 RAM. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 16 gigabyte Vanguard SOC launch edition. When Nvidia announced their next-gen GPU codenamed Blackwell at the CES 2025, it received much fanfare and a raptus reception. The new top-end RTX 50 series come in two flavors at launch, the enthusiast-grade GeForce RTX 5090 and the high-end consumer-grade RTX 5080. Since we're reviewing the GeForce RTX 5080, let's see what the new GPU has to offer. As I mentioned earlier, the new GPU comes with 16GB of VRAM using the latest GDDR7 memory technology, running at 30 gigabits per second on a 256 memory bus. What's more, you also get the power of NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture with a massive 10,752 CUDA cores, 84 4th gen RT cores, 336 5th gen Tensor cores and the support for the latest DLSS4. All these exciting features are found on the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 Vanguard SoC Launch Edition, which also includes great aesthetics with the carbon fiber accents, aerodynamic edges, fractured lines and futuristic RGB lights. But the real show stealer is its performance. Doing our tests, we use the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor along with the Gigabyte Z890 Aorus Elite XX motherboard and 48GB of DDR5-8000. We got excellent scores in all of our benchmarks including an impressive score of 12,608 for Basemark Relic of Life and a Geekbench score of 252,518. For Unigen's value benchmark, we got a score of 8,994 and a Final Fantasy score of 22,395. Past Mark 11 GPU score was at 33,856. Before we continue, I have to mention this. One thing I did notice with our test system is that the performance of the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K is slightly below that of the previous 14th gen Core i9 1400K in some tests. So Intel, I am most disappointed with you. Anyway, let's move on. Next, we have the Superposition 1080p Extreme and optimized 4K benchmarks. We got excellent scores of 19,667 and 27,357 respectively. For 3D Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got amazing scores of 8,366 and 9,131 respectively. For Port Royal and Time Spy, it produced an impressive score of 22,025 and 29,626 respectively. And lastly, we got a DirectX ray tracing score of 54.09 frames per second and a DLSS score of 182.58 frames per second. For the Cyberpunk 2077 test, we got a very good score of 59 frames per second at 4K. It's the highest score we've seen so far. According to Nvidia, the TGB of the GeForce RTX 5080 is around about 360 watts, so you need a minimum power supply of around about 850 watts, but we recommend 1000 watts or higher. Although the card is already boosted at 2730 MHz, you can actually further overclock it using MSI Center to boost the speed up to 2745 MHz. I usually leave it at default, trust me, it's fast enough. We weren't able to get the price of the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 Vanguard SoC Launch Edition, but expect to pay well above MSRP. So all in all, the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 16G Vanguard SoC Launch Edition is an absolutely phenomenal graphics card, both in terms of performance and features. You also get excellent cooling and great aesthetics, as well as the latest graphics technologies. If you're after a next-gen GeForce RTX 50 series GPU, then there's no other better graphics card out there. You can check out the full review on our website at fuckit.com. 
And there you have it. That was a quick unboxing of the MSI GeForce RTX 5080 Vanguard SoC Launch Edition. It's one of the fastest graphics cards that we've tested so far with performance that will just blow your mind. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.